time, one of our most valuable possessions. It created us, it makes us age, it creates memories, it builds history, but it also kills. It kills the living, like plants, animals, humans, and it kills also the non-living. It damages and destroys objects. Time kills art. We found several ways of mending precious objects. Some have been very successful. Like in 2010, the bedroom by Van Gogh was restored by use of strong contrasting colors. And some uh, not successful at all, like the amateur artist in Spain who destroyed a 19th century Ecce Homo fresco with DIY restoration. But there is one way of preserving that I find particularly interesting, 3D mapping. Imagine that we could repair the Venice de Milo. What was she doing with her hands? Artist Cosmo Wenman has imagined her spinning thread. Of course, it can repair, but it can also protect in a way that has never been done before. Some museums have been digitized, like the British Museum. We can walk around exhibitions virtually, in street view, allowing us to explore the hallways and galleries. And taking it a step further, on their website, you can find 3D scans of artifacts to download. And believe me, 3D scans of art and artifacts are becoming pretty common. SciArc is a non-profit organization that preserves whole heritage sites. They bounce laser light off the surfaces of places like Mount Rushmore, Sydney Opera House, even Antarctic expedition huts. The 3D scanners measure millions of points a second, accurate to a few millimeters. The data collected by SciArc will provide complete structural details that will inform the preservation of whole heritage sites for the future. And there are many factors creating the need for preserving these monuments and artifacts. Damage by UV light, industrial pollution, and even people are some of them. And that goes from the Taj Mahal's marble facade that have been worn down from acid rain to the man who fell over his shoelace at the Fitzwilliam Museum in Cambridge and shattered three priceless Chinese vases from 17th century. Oops. Conflicts has long been an enemy of art and artifacts. From the Library of Alexandria to the book burning by the Nazis, men have destroyed what took society centuries to create. Look at what is going on in the Middle East. There is also amazing work from Recre, formerly Project Mosul. They use pictures from volunteers and crowdsourcing to create models. They started their project as a reaction to the destruction of heritage sites in northern Iraq and the looting and black market sales of cultural artifacts in Iraq, Syria, and beyond. Because indeed, preservation is also a great political tool. When people try to shut down your voice as an artist, digitization is usually on your side. At the end of last January, the famous street artist Banksy made a mural of Les Miserables facing the French embassy in London to denounce the treatment of people in the Cali camp. Even though it was only on display for a few hours, this piece of art will live on for posterity through Google Street View, preserved and accessible to all. So 3D mapping and documenting allow us to preserve and protect by transforming all art and heritage into data. Data that is unkillable and destroyable. If anyone can download these models and reproduce these pieces for themselves, then it's not only about repairing or protecting, it's also about sharing. And there is no limit to that. You could build a museum in your own home. If you're in the market for a bust of juice, you can 3D print your own from your sofa. If we all have these pieces of art, the same one produced by a printer made of plastic, something after all with a less important value, is this still art? What about preservation? Is art created to feel time, to be subject to it? If we repair the Venice de Milo, would you still want to see it? I guess many people won't. Protecting and sharing art is part of our duty for us, for our children, grandchildren. But paradoxically, by protecting and sharing it, could we risk destroying it? Oh, don't look at me like that. I'm asking you. Well, let me know in the comments below and take care of yourself until our next discussion. If you want to learn more about art and culture, you can check out our channel. You can watch more videos and subscribe if you do not want to miss one.